the par three that's playing 91 yards. Yeah, the seven. Short time ago, Jessica Corda left it short of the green, raced it by. Really tough to get it up and down and make that putt. Pulled a bit. That's really not going to hurt you on this hole. Just a really, really tough hole location. Been around from Morgan Pressley yesterday at five under lengthy one coming up the hill at 10. Did she? Okay. Yeah. Made it. Not supposed to make that. Those three straight bogeys on the opening nine, but good start to the back nine here. Getting the speed all the way to the hole is so difficult. You would think that the the right hole location would be more difficult. A little surprised by it. Now she's playing as if she expects to be here. Oh, that bounced. I think she may have hit it hard now. Yeah, she did hit it plenty hard. It's this tough read because <laughs> it actually works to the right of the green once it gets up. Should be seven iron for Brooke Cole today. Just up on a little tiny table. I don't think you can leave yourself a downhill putt. This is floating high in the wind. Yep. Good leave. Good approach. It's a pretty quality looking shot. Center of the green. Well, yeah, not exactly a birdie opportunity, but uh, fortunate to have such a clear shot with the tee shot she played. Co. 50 degree wedge. Little up green line. Which here can cost you three, four, five yards on an iron shot. Certainly do not want to be long here on the approach. There's some work to do. Job for Stanford. No, it's not. And she was a bit unlucky to roll through the back there, even though it's downwind. This bunker shot is into the window. Oh, it's gone oh, in! My goodness. <laughs> Thank <laughs> goodness the flag was in the way, but you take the it. three. <laughs> She's got the right club. This is an eight iron. Go, baby. Oh, they're asking for it to go. <laughs> that is bold. But Brooke plays aggressive golf. She loves to go at the flag. Yeah, what a shot. She's got a gap way, so that's possible here from 121. Cross grain line. She was talking to me yesterday during the round about how big a difference the grain can make on an iron shot here. It's so strong. And didn't have enough to get there. She went for it. And has now paid the price. Yeah. That is going to be fast. Yeah, very well done. Very well done. Perfectly oh! done. And there are a few people out there. You heard the roar. It's good to hear it. Wow. Stuck the three wood into the ground, but it's holding its line, the ideal line, if it gets there. Yeah, anywhere right of the flag, and that is going to sneak onto the green, and so. Brooke Henderson will have a putt for an eagle. It might just drift to the front. But there's no problem at all. Up to 16, Jung Lin Lee's six at 11 under. Well positioned off the tee here. Right side of that fairway. Yeah, and the whole way on the right side of the green. That's a good shot. 84, close enough. Lob wedge. Needs to get it close. Needs to make birdie. The last two wedges were not close. This one has potential. A little right of it. It's a lot better. Yeah, it's a good better. shot, and uh, you're under a tiny bit of pressure because of the decision you made to hit a good wedge shot. Dead into the green. Really caught the club. That just it's just so significant out here. Chan is for an eagle at the 15th. Tiffany looking for her career best finish, and that will help. She's now inside 
the top 10 and she knew full well that she had not really had experience go to the 15th hole and Morgan Pressel trying to bounce back had a tough start today with three bogeys in a row has it got enough well Morgan Pressel goes birdie birdie eagle she's now one under for the round and Morgan is tied for eighth alongside Tiffany Chan. Only six is up to a tie for fifth. This is her second to the 17th. Tricky par four. Always plays as one of the more difficult holes on the golf course. Small target. And that's going to work out pretty well indeed. There's two palm trees which can play havoc if you go right of the flag. Beauty. Sure is. Just stopped on a dime. Gonna get on the front yard or two of the green. She did. Oh, nearly made it again. Made it back at 12, if you remember. Hannah Green setting up here at 16. This from 134 awkward lie, ball above her feet, and on the upslope, puts more loft on it. Whole location just over that bunker. This is just left of it. That's a good shot, Karen. I think that's tremendous. It's well left of the hole. Concern on her face. Will it stay? Uh, oh my. No, it will not. And that is extremely difficult. We've seen it this week. Oh, wow. And we are not quite done yet. Second to 17 for So Yun Yu. It's from 179. Nice lie on this fairway. Wind from the right. Oh, this on a good line. Oh, a tremendous line. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Oh, so close. Best shot of the week. Shot of the week, indeed. <laughs> Back at the 15th, and Brooke Henderson, fortunate, is her third. Yeah, but this is far easier than the other two players in the group. Uphill lie in the rough. Didn't catch it as cleanly as she wanted. Not guaranteed a birdie. Yeah, there's no way to stop it, as you said, Jerry. I mean, that's just an impossible shot. I don't, you, you have no choices. You can't really take that one into the bank. It's, there's too much heavy grass there. Saw that sign right there. $100,000 cash, hole in one, CBB Bank. Yeah, flirting with it, <laughs> nearly. Welcome back to your winning ways, Brooke Henderson. Win number 10. It's here in L.A. Huge L.A. Premia L.A. Open, the third edition in Henderson. A sigh of relief.